Welcome back to our channel, folks. I'm Deb. And I'm Brad. I was out here yesterday and I ran a lot of water lines, but I didn't bring any way to cut the water lines and put in tees and elbows. So most of the water line is in place. So we just got to install some tees, install some elbows, and then uh, backfill the trench. So hopefully... Easy, easy right? Yeah, easy. easy. Ah, that's e all. Easy day. But hopefully... And excuse my voice, it's springtime in Florida and pollen is a flying out here. So uh, I got all sorts of things going on. <laughs> pollen, but... pollen, she is a flying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, so I hope to get Deb on pressures and do some uh, side sweeping, filling in the trench and back filling. Hopefully we can uh, show her doing that. But th so that's what we have in store for you today. One thing I would like to add is usually at the end of our videos, and I know a lot of you don't make it to the end of our videos, but that's usually when we say thank you, thanks for watching. So we'd like to start out this video with saying thank you and thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoy it. As, uh, as we like to say at the end of the video also, leave comments below. We'd like to hear from y'all. So stay tuned and watch us work. Do you really want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> so this is my chase for the electrical to come in from the new well in through here to connect to the electrical. And then I'm also going to put another one inch uh, PVC line in there and out to connect the old well to the pond because we've used every other piece of pipe that I've put in here, but I should be able to put an elbow at the end of a PVC, put it down in that four inch, and then shove in a pipe from this side, and it should work. Okay, so this is the water line that goes to the shed. It tees off on the other side of the shed. It's a little windy, but we'll just bear with it. Um, it it's gonna elbow here and feed the shed, and this will actually feed the hot water heater and the shower and the potty and the sink inside the shed, and then back where it tees, it's gonna go to the pole barn. This other line goes to the White House behind me. All we're going to do today, we're not going to do a bunch. Uh, we don't have a lot of time after working on that fence. But I do want to get Miss Piney Grove on the excavator and work with this dirt a little bit. So I'm going to cut this, elbow it, and then leave it like that. And then we can bury the pipe all the way up to the house where it needs to be inspected by the inspector, by the health inspector for the uh, septic. Push it on, turn it one quarter of a turn. Couldn't really turn it, so I just lifted the pipe. That should be good. Ideally, you would leak check this before you backfilled it, but I'm going to uh, have confidence in the way I glued it so that we can do some excavator work. Imagine that, him, him doing something quickly so he can do excavator work. Shocking, I say. All right, what we're going to do here real quick is we're just going to bed the pipe. The trench isn't perfect. It's pretty good where I took the hoe in it after I dug it with the excavator. But we're just going to bed it so that the pipe doesn't flex by putting the dirt on top of it. It won't take us long. We'll just knock a little bit of that loose soil in there and just kind of stomp it in or, or pack it with the end of the shovel. It's not absolutely necessary that you do this, but I just want to reduce stress on that pipe. There's going to be things driving on here, and I don't want that pipe to have like cavities under it and all the pressure from the top side. Okay, that's bedded. It won't move inside the trench and it's got packed dirt on its side of it and underneath the pipe. So it'll help help from putting undue stress and pressure on that pipe. Ready to drive precious? You betcha. I'm so good at it. I'm not good at it at all. <laughs> I don't have the precious gift. So Brad has lots of 
toys, I call them, but pieces of equipment, tools, and things that he uses and things that he needs. But by far, this right here is his favorite piece of equipment ever. Hence the name Precious. He's like poetry in motion with it. Me, not so much. Oh God, he's coming this way. He's okay, gonna expect so that's me to what do I something. want Deb to do. We're gonna walk through the steps here, but basically you take the side of the bucket and you sweep dirt. Now that uses the swing motor. And if you've been following our channel, you know all about Precious and swing motors, but she's got a brand new swing motor. You're not technically supposed to use the house to move dirt. So we don't use, we don't move big uh, hills of dirt with the swing with the swinging motion or the swing motor. So we just take little pieces and put it over and then we pack it with the bucket. And again, you're not supposed to slam down with the bucket with an excavator. Plenty of excavator operators do that. That's how they fill in trenches, but we're gonna be a, we're gonna be a little more gentle with Precious. But you want the bucket to be flat with the ground. Pick it up over the hill. You wanna follow that contour of the ground. And then push. And when you get over the piece of trench, the angle of the bucket and flat. It's not that bad. There's a lot going on with an excavator, but it's going to go slow for her, but we're going to talk her through it. She's going to get to push a little dirt. It's not going to be as fast as what I just did, and I'm by no means an expert, but I got a lot more hours on this thing than she does. I have zero hours. So you can tell she's not used to the controls, but there's really nothing to it. You know, it just takes practice, it takes muscle memory. But if you go slow, you'll hear that the excavator is just idling. If you go slow and just think about what you're doing, anybody can run an excavator. Now there's, you know, a lot of specialty areas or a lot of real technical work with an excavator that I can't do. You know, a lot of people can spin the house around and make the tracks move and, and extend the boom and mess with the bucket, you know, by using their feet and their hands. I'm a two-trick pony. I can use both hands, I can use both feet, but I can't use both hands and both feet at the same time. I like this. There's no, no pressure.
was fun. I liked it. I did better, I think, than I have done on it. But I think at the point now, it's getting late and I'm kind of making a mess. But I did stay on it and I did like it. Um, so there will be more of that to come, I'm sure. Now, Brad will do in five minutes what I've been working on, more than what I've been working on for 25. You saw her on the excavator. I was trying to tell her how to do it. I was actually taking my hands and I think I was off camera and I was like this hand forward and I don't know what she was looking at, but I think it was messing her up. So I just walked away. I just went somewhere else on the property and let her mess around for about 30 or 40 minutes and she got the job done. So how, how did that go? <laughs> I, I think he went and walked away because he's probably cringing every time, every time she jerked or jolted. <laughs> Can't hurt Precious. Oh, see, that, that's actually, I actually was a little honored that he trusted me with Precious. But it went a lot better for me today than it has in, in the past. And I think it was because you said, just, just play with it and let, let me alone. <laughs> and then it was, so I did kind of get the feel of it. I got more comfortable with it. I think given enough time, I would be semi-comfortable with it. But yeah, it was fun. I, I see why he likes it. I see how he has fun on it and he says it's not work. So yeah, that was good times. There's so much work to be done. You just, you just lose track of time. But what I was doing there at the end when I got on the tractor and she was on Precious was I was backblading kind of to save some time, but also I was trying to drag some of this clay that uh, was put here when they built the house, trying to drag it up and kind of cover this sand. It's real sandy here and it washes down that hill. So I was trying to put a little bit of clay there to help solidify it. I don't know if it'll work, but um, it certainly expedited what we were doing, getting it smooth so we could get out of here. Absolutely. But that is all we have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please click that like button. That really helps out our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and share with your friends. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Take care, y'all.